There's nothing to worry about. Just fine. I'm her number one fan. Hello, and happy weekend. So we got a new product that I'm going to be reviewing today. And uh, we're going to do a little bit of diagnostic kind of work here on the old Tahoe. This is the Innova. 5410 ODB scan tool. This guy is a little bit more intelligent than your normal scan tools as it connects to your smartphone, um, providing you with tons of information. Let's take a look at some of these features. Okay, as you can see, I've got the 5410 model and they highlight all the things that it covers. Um, so your regular check engine, um, you know, read and uh, clear your trouble codes, your missions, ABS brake codes uh, has a live data stream, what, you know, showing you uh, how your car is performing. Battery system charging tests, uh, airbag codes, oil light reset, which pretty easy to reset, but it's nice to have. Um, all system network scan and a battery BMS battery reset and initialization. Now, if you get some of the fancier models like the 5510 or the 5610. You're also getting uh, other features such as um, the EPB, ABS brake bleeding caliper service, uh, your TPAMS tire pressure system, uh, your transmission temps, your enhanced data stream for like your analog brakes and your um, AT and SRS, whatever the heck that is, bi-directional system test, active test. Um, so that's kind of cool. Some of the repair solutions, this is the app side. Uh, the one I have has fixed solutions with instructional videos, so it actually shows you how to fix it, which is pretty cool. Directly purchase and repair and maintain maintenance parts. Scheduled maintenance. Now, if you get the bigger models, it has predictive failures. It'll actually tell you, based on like your car mileage and everything, and how your car's performing, what is about to fail. Now, how crazy is that? Um, so you don't have to go into your mechanic anymore. Well, you probably still should, but... You could be kind of a mechanic yourself and say, oh, well, this is about to go. You might want to change this. So that's pretty neat. All right. And as many of you know, if you watch my other videos, I drive a 2015 Tahoe. And all you're doing is locating your diagnostic port. And on my car, it's right there, right by the hood latch thing. So let's go ahead and get this hooked up and plugged in. When you open the box, this is what you get in the box right here. Here's the uh, ODB tool. Probably gotta make sure it's got batteries in it. Let's... Here's the uh, the cord that you plug in, and it's pretty straightforward. All you're doing is just taking, you know, this big fat end right here, and uh, just plugging it in like so. See, real easy. And then this, uh, it's like an old school serial port. Just simply plugs into right there. All right, moving along, I've already selected uh, 2015 uh, as my car year, so now I'm gonna pick the make, Chevy. Oh, there we go, Tahoe. And it tells you where the uh, direct link is. It's under the thing, if you, uh, if you didn't know. So that's kind of cool. Press any hotkey. Okay, so that's the locator. That's kind of nice if uh, you totally don't know where to plug this thing in at for your car. Okay, one feature I really like about this, um, so it's off right now, let's say, and you can see there's no light or anything, right? And uh, I turn it on, and it's got a little uh, LED light. Um, so it uh, makes it easier to find where to plug it in at. Uh, you just get a little light to use, and plus it lets you know that it's on. Okay, so as soon as you plug it in, it uh, starts detecting the car. And uh, I should probably turn it on, as they say, to do in the instructions. And it should light up. Okay, 
Okay, I might have to actually start my car. Okay, so I can see it lit up now. Um, I don't know if it was working with the engine uh, not running or not because I didn't notice that light. It said some cars need to be running. So let's go ahead and hit the relink. All right, cool. So I guess from here we can check things out. Let's try live data. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, um, had to get in the car and get the heat going because I am freezing, it's cold out today. So this is the live data. So we got fuel system one OL. And uh, you know, I'm not really good. This is the first time I've ever used one of these. Oh, look at that fuel pressure. Oh, look at that engine RPMs. Rev it a little bit. Oh, that is cool, huh? We're not currently moving. That's kind of cool. Shows how long that's been running for. That's cool. Is the outdoor temperature. As you can see, it's chilly, 39 degrees today. Gasoline car. Wow, so that's a lot of information. Um, let's see, codes. No powertrain, DTC, or freeze frame data is currently stored. Okay, so I don't know if that's a... This is not touch screen, by the way. I think this will work via Bluetooth as well, but I just have the wire because I'm old school. Here's all my specs. Is this your vehicle? Yes. that scans everything. So I will say that there's a couple things um, code-wise. Um, this has the uh, this Tahoe has the auto leveling suspension on the front end, 
and uh, to change those shocks that failed uh, was like way over a thousand dollars and I was just mad I said nope so I uh, had the garage put on normal suspension and then they sell these bypass modules or like dummy modules to, so you don't get an air code I haven't installed those yet so it just keeps telling me my suspensions uh, broke or service it and this thing also needs an oil change so we could try to find those two codes in here um, again I don't know how to use one of these at all this is the first time I've ever used one so kind of bear with me here okay so let's see So suspension control module. See that right there, that's part of my suspension. So I, I have a uh, an open circuit because uh, it's not plugged in anything. So my right front and my left front. Need to be replaced. You know, uh, got it. Let's see, I wish there was like a back button. Cause this looks like back, but this is enter. Press any hotkey. Well, nothing tells me what a hotkey is. Maybe menu to go back? No? This is the system status. Okay, so that makes sense. I guess DTCs, um, I have to look at the manual, what that stands for. That's probably like um, things that were detected. Body control module. Oh, that's so cool. So yeah, I've been getting uh, messages that I need to change the batteries in my, um, my remote, my key fob. So that's cool. So I just the system status to go back. Front view camera module. Hmm. I'm not even sure what that is. System disabled information stored. Human machine interface control module. What the heck is that? Oh wow, yeah, my rear camera uh, has been failing, so that that makes sense. It doesn't fail all the time, just once in a while. All right, so that's everything there. This is not a hybrid or EV battery, so it tells you it's not there. Drive cycle procedures, what's that? Oh, this fire monitor, fuel system monitor, action sensor. So, it, okay, so I did read something. If they're green, they're good. If they're orange, they're going. If they're red, they're dead. Something like that. Okay. Yep. So I'm good on oil, but I don't I need an oil change. So that's what that is. So there's that. So it's in the tool library. Icon meeting. So 
So it explains all of your uh, sensors. And the, the ignition monitors. Let's see what tool icons are. So it's the link icon. Hey, what is this? Computer. Oh, okay. It's just explaining the icons on the screen. Uh, what was the LED? Oh, here's the thing that I was telling you about. So if it's green, everything's running normal. If it's yellow, possible problem. I said orange, it's yellow. And if it's red, there's definitely a problem. So it's kind of nice that it explains that. You can turn that beeping off, that drives you nuts. Not sure what footer messages are, but I like it. Does metric as well if you want to do metric. So yeah, that's um I mean these are the codes. I'm getting this. This is the statuses of the modules. You can scan them all and see what they're all doing. Uh, this is the main menu. You can well just to go over here, you could probably erase what's stored in there, but we don't need to do that. And then the live data, you can sit there and look at all the live data for all the modules. See what's going on there. And this turns it on and off. Or it links to the module, I guess. Let's see here. So there's no power steering control module. I'm just trying to figure out how to get back. Oh, there we go. Um, let's see if this exists. Okay. So DTCs. Let's look that up. Okay, since I'm such a noob, I just did a good, quick Google search. Uh, DTCs are Diagnostic Trouble Codes. That's what that stands for. So when you see zero, that means there is no codes. But when you see four, that means there's four codes. And you know, this is like the suspension ones that I was telling you about. You could hit live link on it. I think it just refreshes it. Or you could just look at the, the saved codes because I think this thing just saves the codes in there. Let's see. So let's say if I went in, see if I didn't illustrate the erase button. Okay. So I think that actually erases it on the car, which I don't want to do, I'm not sure. Again, I'm not an auto mechanic, but, so this thing's working pretty good. Um, I like it a lot. I highly recommend uh, this this particular one. It does look like it is Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. I'm just using the wire because again, I'm old school. So uh, yeah, um, check yours out today.